So on iOS V router 2, router BGP65000, neighbor 1115, remote autonomous system 65000, neighbor 1115, update source is going to be loopback 0, neighbor 1115, route reflector client. We can see that the BGP relationship came up. Show IP BGP summary. We've got an idle relationship at the moment. Hopefully that will come up soon. There you go. Relationship has come up. So all relationships are now up. So on router 4, Dynamips router 4, BGP relationship has come up. Show IP BGP summary. State looks good. Can this router ping google.com? Again, IP domain lookup needs to be enabled. And IP name server, it needs to be Google. Ping google.com, that looks better. So hopefully, iOS v router 3 now should be able to ping google.com, which it can. So pinggoogle.com source gigabit 05 04 loopback of 0 and simply pinging google.com or pinging cisco.com works so trace to cisco.com notice we get to the nat cloud and then we get to timeouts, but that's fine because we can ping cisco.com and google.com from this router. Don't forget that every router along the path needs to know about the destination network. So you need to, in an ISP network, run both an IGP, such as OSPF, so that next hop addresses are available, as well as BGP. Notice on iOS V, router 3, we are learning about external routes through BGP, so routes external to the autonomous system. These routes are internal to the autonomous system, and we learn those via the IGP, in this case OSPF. So the external route has a next hop of the loopback of this router, and we know how to get to that loopback via OSPF. So the IGP OSPF gives us reachability to next hops, in other words, loopbacks of routers in our autonomous system and other routes within the autonomous system. BGP allows us to learn about external routes to the AES. So that looks good. We've successfully configured these routers now with BGP. Now let's configure this router, which is an HP VSR router. And let's run BGP on this router. Now it's just booted up. I'm going to do a fresh install of the operating system on this HP VSR. Going to reboot it. And as we can see, the router is booting up. While I'm waiting for that one to boot up, what I'll do is I'll also configure this one. So we've got two routers. On the second one, I'll do a fresh install as well. Now what I'll do, rather than having a, another HP router here, I'll delete this one. What I'll do here is add an Arista router to the topology. So let's have another vendor in the network. I'll connect Ethernet 1 to Fast Ethernet 01 on this Cisco router. And what I'll do is start up the Arista. And I'll open up a console to the Arista. So the Arista is now booting up. There's Arista. And here are the two. HP 
E routers. I'm going to press Control D to break DHCP on the HP router. This is running HPE Comware, very similar to to H3C. So, as an example here, this is called User Mode. System View takes us to equivalent of Global Configuration Mode. So, on Interface Gigabit One Slash Zero, undo shut rather than no shut. IP address. 172.16.13.2 and here we just use slash 24 mask. You don't have to use do, you can simply ping from any mode. At the moment the ping is failing. Let me check on the Cisco router that I've configured that interface. This may be a problem in GNS3 again. So show IP interface brief. Gigabit 03, case okay, currently shut down. So let's no shut that. Gigabit 03, no shut. Do the ping again on the HP side. And you can see now that the ping is succeeding. So that wasn't a GNS3 problem, it was my misconfiguration. So quit out of there. Don't have to do router OSPF, simply OSPF. Area is done like this. So area zero first, and then we use the network command in a similar way to Cisco. And we can quit out of there, quit out of there again. Display current rather than show run. There's the configuration of the gigabit interface. Let's change the name of this router to HPE3. Quit, quit, or rather quit rather than quiet. Save, saves the configuration. As you can see here, a neighbor relationship has been formed and we can see something similar on the Cisco side. So on Cisco, show IP OSPF neighbor we have a neighbor relationship to a router, which is the HPE router on this interface. Now, one thing I forgot to do on the HPE router is configure a loopback. So interface loopback zero, IP address 1117 slash 32. Reset. OSPF process. OSPF process has gone down. It's come up again. Display OSPF neighbor or peer on this operating system. We can see that we've got a peer neighbor relationship. On this side, it's still seeing the neighbor relationship as 172.16.13.2. That's okay, however, for what we're doing here. This router should now be able to ping the loopback of iOS v router 1, which it can. So we've successfully configured OSPF on the first HPE router. Let's configure BGP to the Cisco route reflector. So on this router to that router, BGP 65,000 peer. 1113. And we're going to use AS number. So AS number 65,000. Peer 1113. And forgive me if I'm going a bit slow here. I am doing this from memory, trying to remember exactly how to do it. But there is how you set up the source address. So display current configuration begin BGP. There's our BGP configuration, specifying our local autonomous system number, autonomous system number of the neighbor, and the source address. On the route reflector, router BGP 65,000, neighbor 1117, remote autonomous system number 65,000, neighbor 1117, Update source loopback zero. Neighbor one one 
1.17 route reflector client. Just confirm that I've done things right. Show IP interface, or rather display IP interface brief. We've got the loopback configured, ping 1113. We can ping the loopback. Can this router ping the loopback of the HPE router? Yes, it can. Display BGP peer. IPv4. We've got no BGP neighbors at the moment. Show IP BGP summary. On this side, it says idle. So let me check my configuration and then look in some documentation to make sure that I haven't done something wrong. So show run section BGP. This looks right. Display current on this side. We've got the loopback configured properly. We've got OSPF configured properly. We've got BGP configured.